255 here. What up? What up? Square Enix had the recent fail of Final Fantasy VII First Soldier. Now, I was going to go and go look into the original Game Informer article where they announced it, and I was going to go check for comments, but I'm not doing none of that. The bottom line is this was stupid. Why? And then, and then I understand that it's Square Enix's, well, Square saw first IP and Final Fantasy VII, but the way they're using his brand name now is terrible. Now, Young Ye, if you don't know who he is, he reports a lot of general game news. If I remember, I'll put the, descript the link in the description. Uh, he talked about how this is the third failed live service that Square Enix had. And uh, just off of memory, we had Babylon's Fall, you had that Marvel Avengers game, and now this, Final Fantasy VII uh, First Soldier. The problem is, why, first of all, why are you attaching the name Final Fantasy VII to another shooting game? You kind of tried that with Dirge of Cerebus, that didn't work out too well. And for whatever reason, nobody's looking for a remake of that at all. Um, and then why would you put it on a mobile game? Like, really, Square Enix? What were you thinking? I want to just go sit down in a boardroom with the devs and be like, what are you doing? Why would you... Like, Final Fantasy is not known for, for being a shooter. Nobody cares. And it's sad that half the fandom didn't even know about it. Who asked for a Final Fantasy VII shooting battle royale game? Who asked for that? And I, I'm happy it failed. Yes, I'm, I'm making it plain. I'm making it straight. I'm happy it failed. There was no reason for this game to exist. Nobody asked for it. So I hope... That is more games like no one has a problem with Square Enix being uh, creative per se, right? Because you remember back in the Square Soft days, they gave us Brave Fence and Musashi. You know what I'm saying? They gave us what is the other game that started with a, a, a V? Vagrant Story, a Vagrant Story, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Nobody really cares about you branching off, but even Air Guys was okay. Y'all remember Air Guys, that Final Fantasy fighting game? That was okay. But uh, to go in, and, and, and then the evilness of using Final Fantasy VII to, to try to sell this. Putting that name on there, because you know there are diehard fans like myself and others who love everything Final Fantasy VII. So you make a, a completely brand new game and you put it on a mobile system. Let me ask this question. Who played Final Fantasy VII originally on a cell phone? So why would anybody be excited for it? You put the game on a platform that most of your fans don't use and a genre that they don't play. Probably if they're an RPG gamer like myself, there might be a subcategory of players who play the shooting, you know, like to jump on some Halo, going old school now, Duke Nukem, Torok, Doom Eternal, Doom, whatever, man. You know, whatever, you know, Fortnite. There may be a subsection like that. But for the most part, no one's asking for a Final Fantasy VII mobile shooting battle royale game. Nobody asked for that. Now, a Final Fantasy VII game where... It's a live service game, and there's something like Final Fantasy XIV. Okay, sure. Even making an action, more action adventure games, which your JRPGs have turned into anyway. But there's a lot of other genres, maybe even a visual novel. There's a lot of other genres that you could have get into that could have kind of spread it out. Uh, you could have put it inside one of the games. There's a lot of different things, you different ways to handle this. But putting it on a mobile phone where most people don't have access to it, and a lot of people were complaining about the controls, uh, was not a good idea. And so you get what you effing deserve. 255 out one.